Uh, 7.41, it's Monday morning. Um, did you see Happy New Year's Eve? Did you, what, what did you normally I say? think so. All right, well, Happy New Year's Eve anyway. Yes. Uh, good news stories about the environment might seem like a bit of a rarity these days, especially when it comes to beaches and oceans. But according to UK Wildlife Trust, some rare marine species like seahorses and little terns are starting to make a comeback. Conservation on the coast is being supported by thousands of volunteers who are helping to monitor protected areas. Sarah Ward from the Wildlife Trust in Sussex is here to tell us more. Morning to you. Morning, Sarah. Morning. How Hi. lovely to have some good news. So tell us. What is what is happening and what is what are you excited about? Well, there's so much happening all around the UK at the moment um, in terms of uh, wildlife, in terms of uh, the marine environment. And I think the main thing that we've really had this year is just a huge, huge amount of interest from all of the volunteers that are sort of part of our network. And of course, this time last year, we were all watching in awe at uh, David Attenborough's Blue Planet 2. And that really did spark so much interest and enthusiasm. Um, so really, there's just been so much going on because we've had a huge, huge number of volunteers to help us out there mm. doing all of our um, coastal monitoring and surveys, that kind of thing. I was reading some of those uh, sort of volunteer rubbish pickups, stuff mm. like uh, beach cleans on the Isle of Wight collected 400 bags of rubbish. Uh, well, Welsh Wildlife Trust collections picked up 14,095 pieces of litter and in Kent nearly 3,000 kilograms of rubbish and 60 shopping trolleys were collected from the Medway estuary. That's so there's, right. there's a lot of work to be done isn't there? There certainly is, yeah. I think it's it's absolutely not a hopeless, hopeless cause though. I mean there's so much um, good work going on around the country. Um, I think the amount of litter that we are finding is obviously quite a shock factor. Um, but, you know, the enthusiasm that's there through the volunteer network, um, that's only going to sort of, you know, keep spurring things on, I hope. Um, tell us a little bit about, for example, um, the seahorses have done well. Also, um, some is it slugs that you're particularly interested in? Sea slugs, yes. Sea slugs, go yeah. on. Well, um, that's um, quite a good one for me because it's something we've seen a lot of down in Sussex, which is where I'm based. And um, Is this a sea slug? That is a sea slug, there yes. <laughs> yeah, so they're really beautiful creatures. This one's um, probably one of the least colourful ones that we see, but unlike um, our sort of you know, garden variety slugs that most people are fairly familiar with, um, sea slugs are just fantastically coloured. Um, there's loads and loads of different varieties of them. They come in all shapes and sizes. Um, some of them you know, can sort of do quite interesting things. They're mm. photosynthetic, which means that they take energy from the sun. Um, some of them will eat other poisonous creatures and then sort of take the poison into their body as, an, as a defence mechanism. Um, but on our sort of intertidal shore surveys, we found loads and loads of sea slugs this year, loads of different species and also in terms of the numbers. And it's just been really exciting and it's so exciting to see the volunteers getting interested in that mm. as well. We've spoken an awful lot about um, plastics on the back of Blue Planet. In fact, we don't use plastic bottles in this programme anymore. Excellent. Louise, was it last Christmas? I bought this for you last Christmas. Yeah, Look, so and it's is, still here. This is last year's Christmas present. Um, <laughs> Excellent. So we're, we're not you know, using... We used, to, we used to go through quite a few plastic bottles yeah. every day, and over the year, that's, that's an awful lot. I think lots of people are making those sorts of changes, but how much of a problem is, is that still on uh, yeah. in, in the oceans around the UK? Well, it's certainly still a problem, and as you uh, mentioned, with the amount of um, litter that we're still picking up off our beaches, you know, it's it's obvious to see that it is a problem. Um, whether or not it's getting worse is difficult to say. I think it's perhaps more that we're becoming more aware of the problem. Mm. Um, but it's, as I mentioned earlier, certainly not a hopeless cause. There's still work to be done. Um, but I think the individual efforts that people are making, you know, in their everyday lives and in the home, recycling, that kind of thing, it's so important to just keep that up. And um, hopefully those small changes will lead to big changes, you know, in the environment in the future. Um, and some people who think, I don't know, for example, that you can't see much. Um, you can, though, can you, in the UK? In terms of the wildlife? In the, in the, yeah, in the wildlife. Absolutely, yeah. There's just so much to see. I think that's... Um, people tend to look out to the ocean and they see, you know, the sort of grey dreariness. Um, but it is such an exciting place. Um, I'm quite similar to a lot of people. I actually um, discovered the marine environment out in Australia. thought, wow, isn't this great? And then came home and thought, actually, do you know what? It's really quite cool around here as well. you just got to get out there and explore. And um, wildlife trusts all around the country are quite happy to take volunteers and uh, people to... To, you know, rock pool ramble sessions, that kind of thing. So do just get out there and rock pool and have ramble, a look. perfect right. for a New Year's Day. There you go, sort it out. <laughs> Enjoying your starfish necklace That's as well. That's right. That's my mum gave that to me. So thanks, mum. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's thank lovely you. to see you and lovely to bring a little bit of good news. So thank you very much for that. There's some lovely views behind us. This. this is what central London looks like.